Hello and welcome to another Doctor Assistant 1 video and today I am reviewing the governor figure from the TV show uh, The Walking Dead. Now I will go through the articulation first. He has a lot of articulation. Uh, he retails for $12.99 so yeah. Um, he has a ball jointed um, head so he can go full 360, he can look up, look down, kind of go left and right, pivot on a sort of angle and whatnot. Um so a lot of articulation in that. Ninety degree arms, uh which can go full three sixty. Um there's that joint as well uh there, so part way through the arm. So sort of um yeah. Uh wrist articulation on the hands, go up and down and left and right and, and god knows what else. Um and that uh, legs go in at the knee joint, in at the knee joint, um, and can do full 360 around, so like that. Um, and the feet don't have any articulation, but I'm fine with that. And I don't think the waist has any articulation. So yeah, he has quite a bit of articulation. For example, you can put him in a pose where he's kind of shooting off to the side, maybe, um, with the pistol or something. And uh, maybe shooting like that, like pew pew or something, and then put his head sort of uh, that way as well. If I could do it with one hand, but um, but yeah, um, so yeah, articulation is pretty solid, um, and uh, probably one of the things that is much more in this f uh, this figure has than some of the other figures that I've reviewed. Um, now, yeah, onto sort of. Um, accessories. Um, he comes with a removable head or a secondary head uh, with the sculpt being more of the um, the first sort of style of the governor where Michonne, uh, Michonne has uh, just uh, stabbed him in the eye uh, around season three where he has the bandage over his eye, there's blood there, there's blood um, I like how this one has the hair sculpt a bit more jagged and jaded all over the place kind of look, um, which makes more sense. Um, he's kind of got less of a beard on one side than the other, I think. Or maybe he's got kind of a, a natural beard. I don't know. Or just a, a beard, nonetheless, on the uh, head sculpt. Um, really good. Um, my only major complaint with this sort of head sculpt or head remov removable head um play featurey thing. If you're a younger person and you've purchased this figure, I think a adult or guardian uh, would be uh, advised to help you because I'm 17. <laughs> Even I found, find it quite difficult to swap the heads and put the heads on. Um, he also comes with a very uh, diddy knife, which I don't really like. It, it It's very blunt and it's very meh, but then again it might be blunt for younger people uh, if younger people are buying it, even though the show is uh, aimed at uh, uh, teenagers or young adults and, and above, so I don't see why uh, a younger person would be having it, uh, having this figure, and also the price is quite expensive uh, 12 99 so um, yeah um, and then lastly, accessory-wise, he comes with this awesome sweet gun. Uh, very well done, you know, detail-wise. You've got the scope bit at the, at the top. You've got this. You've got the sort of like a, a grip uh, magazine. You got all sorts. You got this strap which you you can put on um, over his awesome sculpted coat. Detail-wise, he is fantastic. You know the. The head sculpt there is awesome, you know, with the eye patch and the hair sculpt. Um, the pants are all wrinkled and creased, and the feet have really cool brown um, brown shoes. Um, and then, as I say, the rest of the coat's all nicely sculpted with lots of creases. You can pull back the coat to kind of try and reveal a pouch there, if you can just about see it there. Um, a gun pouch of sorts where you can try and put the pistol and the um, uh, um, knife. Now at the minute I don't for whatever reason have the pistol I can't seem to find it but he does come with a pistol as well which I've only just remembered really so sorry about that um, but yeah he does look awesome underneath um, his sort of uh, grey coat you can just about make out um, 
his other sort of um, jacket sort of thing over uh, over his shirt, his blue shirt, which is really nicely wrinkled and and crinkled and 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 whatnot to give this sort of uh, worn effect, uh, much like the the coat. I love this bit of the coat where it's kind of sculpted over the the um, the pouch of uh, a knife pocket holder so like um, obviously to not show that it's there um, and I quite like this bit of the uh, coat as well which is separately paint, uh, changed uh, change of paint which is a sort of dark brown to contrast with the grey really looks nice um, just to give it some contrast um, and then obviously as I say this awesome you know figure has this awesome you know sculpt of a um, awesome head and the eye patch and whatnot. If the camera focuses, any time today. Um, so yeah, he looks cool from side angles as well. Where you've got his sort of sideburns and and whatnot. And yeah, you can just get him in loads of dynamic poses because there are a lot. There is a lot of articulation. I'm just not really the best at showing articulation. There's even like the belt uh, for detail. There's even the belt and the silver sort of square thing there. There's lots of cr uh, creases near the um, upper bit of the pants around the T uh, T crotch joint um, and that lots of just creases making it look more and more realistic my only gripe detail wise is that the wrists the wrists you can see some of the black um, where they haven't painted but then again the only problem there is if they tried to paint the sort of uh, ball joint there that um, they could have sort of painted it or tried to paint it but it could have gone on uh, potentially the uh, the bottom of the sleeve or the sleeve of the uh, the coat and whatnot there um, and whatnot. So you know it's a bit of a much much of a muchness really. So what would I give this figure out of ten? I would give it a well earned nine out of ten. My only gripe is my only two major gripes are the removable head and that being an absolute atrocious sort of pain to a painstaking sort of thing to do which is annoying um, and that to remove that head and to remove the head and put that one on is absolutely ridiculously difficult for me personally um, and the fact that the pouches are actually really difficult to get to you know the holsters and whatnot in my opinion so yeah this has been my review of the uh, Governor from The Walking Dead. Interestingly enough, if you find this interesting, this is the third Walking Dead figure that I've reviewed now. Uh, the previous two that I've reviewed are one of Michonne's pet zombies um, and uh, Rick Grimes from the TV show. Now, these are all uh, action figures from the TV show line, and I've reviewed all three of them now, so you can go check those out if you want to. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.